Hi, I'm Niels Krug and I'm one of the Seacrest researchers who have developed the Marine Protected Area Size Optimization software. The software helps users determine the appropriate size of a marine protected area to protect coral reef fishes. It can be applied to any location and any species of coral reef fish and this video introduces you to using the Marine Protected Area Size Optimization software. Start by downloading and installing MPA Size Optimization from the Seacrest website. Open the program and you will see a list of fish species and data about them, including their home ranges, maximum body lengths, and densities. You can include or exclude any species by ticking or unticking the corresponding boxes. Save the list once you have adjusted it. You can also create and import your own species list using a spreadsheet. Be careful to match the exact same column headings from the default MPA size optimization spreadsheet file. The minimum data requirement is just one species with one data point. It's okay if you don't have complete data for every new fish species. To import your own species list, go to File, Load Species List, and find your Excel file with your species list. Once your species list is uploaded, or if you decide to use the internal one, you can go to Options and Preferences to specify the MPA sizes you would like to see shown in the results. You can use the default sizes shown or add your own custom sizes. Now that you have your species list and a set of potential MPA sizes, click Process to run calculations and show the results. The red line shows the number or percentage of all species that experience the selected protection level for each of the proposed MPA sizes. The default protection level is 95%. You can select different protection levels, 50%, 75%, and 95%, and see the effects on the results. Choosing 50% protection means that half of all individuals of a species are fully protected within an MPA, whereas 95% protection means that almost all individuals of a species are fully protected. The 95% target is a suitable target for the World Heritage Site, whereas the 50% target is more suitable for standard marine protected areas where people in surrounding areas depend on fishing. Once the results are processed, you can save them. Go to File and Save Species Results. The Species Results file restates all input data and shows the MPA size is needed to achieve all three alternative protection levels for each species. You can also save the plot results, which are the results shown in the graph, useful to get an overview of MPA size effectiveness for your local set of species. More information, including how to apply your results in a real-world context, is available in the MPA size optimization user guide on the Seacrest website. Thanks for watching our introduction to the Marine Protected Area Size Optimization software. You can find more information and links in the video notes and you can download the user guide on the Seacrest website. I hope you find the Marine Protected Area Size Optimization software useful.